Flawless. In today's video, I have a project share. This is a card that I created. I have recently done a haul from honeybeestamps.com. And one of the items that I purchased was their Barn Scene Builder, which is a part of their Honey Cuts. So with that set, I went ahead and I created this little card. The card is a She Shed, and I spoke of this in that video. This is the little Honey Cut set that I used right here barn scene builder and in that video I stated that I had wanted to make a she shed card so that's exactly what I did it took me a couple of days because this thing is super detailed <laughs> and I used a ton of resources to complete the idea that I had in mind so I'm going to go ahead and run through everything now this is the front of the card I did actually cut and layer this four times the main part and then the top part is actually cut three times so I did two pieces for the front and one on the inside you'll see that and as far as the little wood grain design I used an embossing folder that I had because I did not have um, a wood grain stamp I do have one now <laughs> but I didn't have it at the time so what I did was just ran these pieces through the embossing folder and then I used my Tim Holtz inks my distress inks to add just some coloring to this now the different sets that I used besides the barn scene builder are the newest farmhouse scene um the farmhouse builder i'm going to grab that okay so this is the farmhouse add-on excuse me and the pieces that i used from that were the little light post i used the little plant and then i used the hanging plant as well so i did stamp and die cut those out and then i colored all of the images that were die cut out with my Spectrum Noir Tri Blend markers. Now, as far as the she she shed sign, <laughs> I did a couple of things. The first thing I did was create the actual she shed sign on my Cricut Maker. So I just created this from scratch and did a print and cut image. But when I cut it out like this, my little sign pieces were so thin that they ripped when they cut and it was fine so I just cut around the actual part that said she shed and I colored it in with my tri blend markers but with the honeybee stamps one of their sets what is it okay here it is so I actually use the treat shop add-on set and I used this little stamp right here, the one that says we are open. And then I just layered my piece on top. And then I took my little craft knife to cut the inside of that out. So like I told y'all, I did a lot of detailed things to get this exactly the way that I wanted it to be. And I used a lot of their sets. So in addition to that, I did use the gingerbread house add-on set just so that I could have the bowls for the little flower pots. And this is what the gingerbread house add-on set looks like. And to keep track of my pieces, I just use these little Shore Fresh uh, bags that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I put all my little small dies inside of those. Now, everything else except oh you know what the windows are actually from the original house builder card base so that's this set right here so I use the hinge piece I did use the little teeny tiny flowers I also used from this what else did I use from this that might have been oh no I did use the little curtains from this set as well so the house builder card base that's the name of that one and as you can see you can just mix and match all of between all of their sets so easily to get a customized look for what it is that you want now these windows are a part of the barn house 
builder set or the barn scene builder set as well as the hay the fence and the little windmill um and then I believe that's everything. Now, as far as the reef goes, I did color it in with my tri-blend markers, and then I just use my stickles on the barn door as well as the reef to make my flowers have a little bit of dimension and to just add some dimension to the door itself. And I really love how this turned out, okay? Now, as far as the inside goes, I had so much fun um, creating this card from scratch, okay? Now, as you can see, the windmill, you can see it from both the front and the back, and I love that. And this is what it looks like from here. So it's definitely a very clean look to the card. And the hinge piece is what I use to have this open. I just cut it to size. Here's the little plant from the farmhouse add-on. This piece right here is from the Haunted House add-on, and it's just a little wood piece that you cut out for the windows to give them a little spooky boarded up effect. And then I just use my tri-blend markers to add some dimension to those. I cut out the sewing machine, the little Cricut maker, <laughs> the coffee cup says, but first crafting, this bag says all the things and then the little dress form says today i will create all of those images are from cricut design space i just had to play around with them and size them um based off the dimensions of my card so that took a lot of trial and error once i got them done i just used various markers and my tri-blend markers to get all of the coloring that i wanted for these the little hay bells are from the barn scene builder and the little picnic table is also a cricut design space image i just turned it into a print and cut image and then used my markers to color it in and really get the texture and dimension for everything that i wanted i did use my inks and some twine on the little hay bells and i am just so happy you all like this literally was exactly what i had in mind and to be able to do it was totally worth all of the time and the effort now the sentiment create the things you wish existed was perfect because the crafty girlfriend that will be getting this she and i have been talking about her craft room we both share the same love of purple which is why i chose these colors but that sentiment came from this stamp set and this stamp set came from the sassy club and it's called kiss the prince so like I said, a lot of resources <laughs> were used in order to create this. And I'm happy because, you know, right now we need to be using up what we have in our stashes. So I hope you all are inspired. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a gorgeous day. That was smooches. Bye.